Up next from The Vampire Diaries and years of living dangerously, Ian Summerhalder. To the mysterious island on Lost came to a tragic end. Our first guest has gone from dead to undead in his latest role as lovesick vampire Damon Salvatore on the popular supernatural drama The Vampire Diaries. Please welcome the fantastic Mr. Ian Summerhalder. I've gotten in 24 Wait, hours. hours. <laughs> <laughs> this morning. Yeah. Now then, I would like you to know that we are presently trending on Twitter because you are on the show. Yeah. Oh, that's right. cool. yeah. It's by the, way, the power of social media and the power of just. By the way, it's all ladies that are doing that. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, the ladies love you. Yeah. Love you Trust me, I love I love them back I like in a it. huge way. So. No, I heard that Rupert Everett loves you too, <laughs> and I would <laughs> like to know what I, you thought about his comments. Wow, I mean, I don't judge anyone, but I, it's funny because we were sitting in the. Well, you can't. Doesn't yeah. doesn't get you anywhere. Uh, but I was asking my publicist in the back. I said, Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, because I mean, things get misquoted. You think maybe they misquoted him? His, his response was, I don't think you can misquote elephant ankles. <laughs> which, which, which you can't. It's a good point. It's pretty hard to and do. I, what, here's the thing, though. I, I think what's problematic about that is that we did this thing at the Instant Roller Foundation. It was our first fundraiser. And the idea was, was redefining sexy. Because mm -hmm. it's all about, you know, female empowerment. We know statistically that an educated, you know, empowered woman in a household doubles the GDP of that household and mm -hmm. therefore doubles their communities, their towns, the province, country, boom, boom, boom. And ultimately, you don't really get that by judging one another. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's just, it's highly sort of counterproductive. Right, right. Mm -hmm. He's a yeah. yeah. god. <laughs> He's, He's a phenomenal He's actor. Um, He's a, he's a phenomenal actor, but a little salty. Yeah, you um, <laughs> So uh, we have lots to congratulate you for, but apparently, just last week, you won an online poll. Uh, you were named the, uh, I, and I know you have this on your mantelpiece at home, World's Sexiest Shirtless Stud. Oh. So. <laughs> you beat out Two Bloods Joe Maganiello for the title, which is pretty impressive. So what did you ever say? Ian beat that guy. Oh. So, uh, all, what did you think about that? Uh, well, the funny thing is, is that the clip. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, is, the clip they used of me was literally. Look, no excuses, but I spend nine and a half months on a TV show. We shoot between 12 and 15 hours a day, and then I travel. <laughs> yeah, but I travel mm. 90 flights a year. Look how much. That guy is so ripped, it's absurd. And I think that people were just drinking and voting. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yes, I did. I did. Let's do a quick. Let's do a quick poll of our audience, and you guys can vote. What do you guys think? We're gonna throw a picture up of Ian now, and uh, yeah. you guys. Can... I 
love you got that little thing that goes down into oh, your so ass, the little crevice. So, so wait a minute, I have a question now. Crevice. So yeah, much down in my right or down there. Use the word yeah, crevice. crevice. I can't use the real word, but this is daytime TV. <laughs> so wait, you so you got your big break on Lost, yay, that we love. But Very great. You also yeah. had a uh, an on. Set romance with your co-star Maggie Grace, right? Um, and I heard That's that good. Maggie made you work for that first kiss. How so? And what kind of work was it? And can I do it? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, <she's> right. <laughs> well, if you want to spend about seven months with me having lots of like sexual tension, let's go for it. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> um, no, I think I tried to Bad. kiss her a number of times, and she was, you know, said no. Uh huh. But whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. There's okay, another wait part. It? Yeah, yeah, so I gotta hear this. Wait till it's on camera. Oh, okay. Oh. So the first time we ever kissed was on camera on the show, and it's the take they end up using. Mm -hmm. And then we were together for two years after that. Whoa! Say that. Wow. Wow. So. Okay. This is research now. Okay, yeah, no, clearly. <laughs> all the ladies that clearly. are watching, everybody here, mm -hmm. they all want to know, are you single right now? That would be a definitive yes. <laughs> Just to give the ladies a clue, what are you looking for? In a woman. Really, Sharon, on the spot yeah, right yeah. now? Yeah, you know, in a woman. No, you know what? It's, it's one of those crazy things I think we can all agree. It, it, it's this thing that sexy comes in so many ways, man. That's why I think that it's just so crazy that we have these, like... Mm -hmm. No, it's bizarre. Like, you look at magazines. There's a little thing called Photoshop, guys. Right, right, right. It's not practical, and it's anatomically not even possible. Mm -hmm. and, that's, right? and so it's like... I just don't understand. I mean, I, I was reading some statistic. I don't remember what it is. The, there's this bulimia statistic that is huge, and it's like housewives. It's unbelievable. It's something like 40,000 a month or something in the United States. So what you're bulimic. saying is you like a few curves on your women? Am I hearing that? I just that? love women in general. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm so sorry I interrupted whatever weird ritual you two were doing. But I just want to deep passenger the great citizens of Mystic Falls using your magical traveler knife. So, hand it over. That's going to be a problem. Five words that make me want to vamp toss my keys into your chest cavity. Little Gilbert, help me in the fight against my dark side and elaborate, please. We can't find it. As in you lost it? As in it's not here. You're right. Don't invite me in, because I will kill both of you. Whoa! Holden. Now, Ian, there's what? only a few episodes left. Wait, of time this out. Series. Holder. You Holder. said Holden. I Holden? did it. I've been practicing it and I got it right. Wait, did I? So, you know, yeah. she called Marie Osmond Maria Osmond. So it's like, <laughs> it's a Sharon thing. Yeah. Just how about Ian, darling? That's all the that matters. Accent, you yes. can say anything. Oh, Ian, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Oh, picky, picky. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that fight. <laughs> what's, what's going on at the end of the series? We want to know everything. Tell us now. Well, then I'll get fired. Tell us something. Um, no, you know what? I read that, that last episode. Um, it, it ends, and no one ever saw it coming. It's a very cool ending uh, that definitely leaves a lot of... What the hell's go heck is going on? <laughs> you can say that. You're right. You're is good. it cliffhanger? Yeah, you're good. It's a major cliffhanger. Okay. And but it's cool. It's very ingenuitive, and it was uh, it was refreshing to see. And I think it'll freak people out and help some people. And it's you know, I have people that come up to me that will scream at me. I can't believe what happened on Lost. It's like, dude, I haven't been on that show in ten years. <laughs> But it's still your me fault. the first season. Like, it's so not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but it's pretty amazing, the, the idea and the science or the, the psychology behind how invested we get in stories. Yeah. Because in series television, unlike films, 
you're in someone's living room every week. Mm -hmm. They're watching them, you on the iPad, whether it's on the plane or in their bed or whatever. It's very intimate. So, and it's every week. And it's just amazing how invested we become in yeah. these stories. It know? is. It's like in your life. And in, in Vampire Diaries, you play a 173-year-old vampire. Let me get it right. Damon Salvatore. Yep. And he's busy killing people and doing all these awful... Wow. Yeah. Why do you think you can get away with doing all this evil stuff and still have all these women swooning over That's you? That's what I don't understand. He's a pretty terrible uh, guy. I'll tell you out. why. Right here. That's oh, yeah. right. Well, actually, from the ankles up, we saw your abs. But no, that is why. And let me just say, full disclosure, I watched the show. He is a sympathetic character. He does have, that's, 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 and that's the beauty of what Julie and Kevin and the writers have created. It's so weird that I said this. You know, people say, oh, we want Elena to be with Steph and her Damon. It's, it's like, guys. We've killed her entire family. <laughs> She's dead. Um, and also, too, at 173 years old, mm -hmm. I mean, you might not want to date an 18-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to talk about, before we say goodbye, uh, in addition to the vampire uh, diaries, you're also going to be in the new Showtime docuseries, yes. which is called Years of Living Dangerously. Your episode is airing Sunday, May 4th. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this project. Uh, I, you know what? I will tell you, when your manager calls you and says that James Cameron, Jerry Weintraub, and Arnold Schwarzenegger are producing an environmental docu-series for Showtime, and, uh, and I said, oh, wow, that's amazing. And they said, yeah, it's Matt Damon, Don Cheadle, Harrison Ford, Leslie Stahl, Thomas wow. Friedman. Wow. And you. <laughs> and I jumped up, you know, and I thought, well, oh, it's going to be good. It was, it was, that was uh, one hell of a phone call. And uh, I will tell you, with that amount of firepower and, and behind it, it's extraordinary. In brief, your episode focuses on what? Um, about, it's, it's uh, called The Preacher's Daughter. It's about an evangelical preacher who lives in the Carolinas who bought Jim and Tammy Faye Baker's old um, compound. Mm -hmm. An amazing man. Again, there's no judgment here. It's about moving forward. Amazing guy, credible father. Wildly articulate, I mean, uh, in, uh, intellectual man. Has a huge following. Doesn't believe in climate change. Mm. Oh. But, but his so, daughter does, And right? his daughter does. She works with the Sierra Club Beyond Coal, and they've, they've shut down, uh, I think, don't quote me on it, I think it's 158 coal-fired power plants, which is the equivalent of taking 45 million cars off the road. Wow. wow. Well, that is a tease. Yeah. Ian Summerhalder, everyone. The Vampire Diaries airs Thursday nights at 8 on the CW. And Ian's episode of Years of Living Dangerously airs Sunday, May 4th at 10 p.m. on Showtime.